Hey everyone, it's Miss Allison. I hope you're doing well. So let's take a look at the vocab section of your active reading for night and figure out what we need to do here. Directions say, as you read, please find three words that you're unfamiliar with and list them out below. Then copy and paste the sentence and give an educated guess of its meaning based on the context. Finally, Google search the definition and copy it down to see how close you were to the actual meaning. So the goal here is, as you're reading, if you find a word that's unfamiliar to you, which you will, there's a lot in this text, you're going to put it in here, use context clues to take a guess, and then find the actual definition. This builds our vocab skills as readers and writers as well, and um, as a great way to get to find out that definition and learn it in a, in a more meaningful way, a way that sticks, all right? So we're going to use the example text here, which is the Nobel Peace Speech Prize that he won in 1968, like we talked about in class. So we're going to take a look here for any words that are unfamiliar, and boom, this one pops up first. So I find the word eloquence. I don't know what that means. I'm going to copy and paste it into my box. So first one, just put the word here. I'm going to take the sentence from the text. Easy copy paste. Place it in here. This, I put it here um, in bold just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Then I'm going to guess what it means. So in this sentence it says, then thank you, Chairman Arvik, for the depth of your eloquence. I know that he is giving a speech. I know that he's accepting an award. So I'm going to take my best educated guess on what eloquence could mean. It, to me, it sounds like, yeah, hospitality, maybe making me feel welcomed and kind words. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. Then when I am ready, I am going to look up the word on Google. I'm going to do the second, though. We need to make sure we're making those eloquent. Um, I can't, I can't type and talk at the same time. We want to make those educated guesses, not eloquent, um, as we're going to make sure we know what's going on, okay? So here I see the definition, fluent or persuasive in speaking. That's eloquent, um, clarity in expressing, okay? So here I'm going to put back here, right here, boom, fluent or, ex or persuasive in speaking or writing. That's going to be my vocab word, and I'm going to do it for every word in here that I don't know the meaning of. If there are more than three, like we talked about, you can add more boxes, but for time's sake, we're gonna ask for three. Pick the three that you think are the most meaningful. Obviously, guys, if you see other words that you don't know and need to look up, please do that as well. You need to understand the text as we're reading, okay? Hopefully that helps you with the vocab section. 